We are back now at 743 with new details on a story we've been following all week. American CEO Chip Starnes held captive in his company's manufacturing plant in China. Well, he was released late Wednesday night, just arrived Mr. home Starnes. in Florida overnight, and he is with us now exclusively along with his family. Mr. Starnes and family, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, morning. I know you got home late last night and you're up early with us, so it was a short night, but did it feel good to sleep in your own bed? It did. I, I'm more, I think I'm more late in the bed. I didn't really sleep, but uh, yes, it felt great. Well, after you reached a deal with your workers, uh, fair to say you hightailed it out of town, and you were telling me over the phone yesterday how you did it. Sounds like something straight out of a movie. Yeah, and it's absolutely out of a movie. Um, yeah, a little something happened at the very, very end there, uh, early morning time. We had a, uh, one of our uh, actually smaller vendors uh, come in that... Um, his supplier had actually threatened him. Uh, as it turned out, we were his largest customer, and the media, his uh, supplier found out that uh, this was going on, and uh, he came and basically uh, passed the threat on to me. And uh, so things, that's when things really kicked in that uh, my heart really got going at that particular point in time. And I know you switched cars three different times on your, your way out of town to the airport. I, I have to say, looking yeah. back at this now, you say that you're going to keep the factory open. Are you really prepared to step foot back into that manufacturing plant again? I mean, wouldn't you be afraid this could happen again? Yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of miscommunication over there. I don't know if it'd be wise for me to go back in there at this particular point in time, uh, myself personally. But, you know, I've got a partner. We've got a CFO um, that's able to go in and take care of that. Uh, we have counsel over there in China right now that's communicating with the vendors. Uh, we do have some uh, workers that are interested in coming back and getting the alcohol pet pad business up and going. Um, I think it's part of uh, communication. But, you know, like I said earlier and before, we have significant investment of, uh, you know, millions of dollars over there. So that equipment is important to us, and uh, we've got to figure out how to get our hands back on that. i got to tell you, over there. some people look at this set of facts, and they, they just can't believe that the workers would have acted this way without any provocation. Can you honestly say you didn't do anything to cause them to take this drastic action where they literally held you against your will? They said they were denied pay. No, that's, that's absolutely false, 100% false. Everybody was paid. And at the end of this, which happened just yesterday, the morning before last, they all got paid a lot more than they should have. You know, um, uh, some false uh, information got out, I guess, spooked a lot of people in the factory that the whole factory is going to be moving, not just one division of it. Mm. And at that particular point in time, the whole entire factory turned against me. Um, I guess they thought that I was going to pick up 100,000 square feet of machinery carry it out in the backpack and not pay anybody. But that's exactly what happened. I got held hostage uh, uh, or held ransom for, for severance pay. I was going to say, uh, do you feel like you paid a ransom? And, and, and honestly, can you, you tell us how much you had to pay to basically get your freedom? Yeah, I mean, uh, 100%, I, uh, I got held for ransom. Um, a, every single other person and 35 people that I let go had jobs there. Uh, um, and yeah, and the payout was about uh, everything involved, five, six hundred thousand dollars cash for my freedom. Well, Chip Starnes, it's a, it's a harrowing ordeal. What are you looking forward to doing this weekend? <laughs> you know, just uh, adjusting is still kind of all set, settling in right now. I'm just looking forward, quite honestly, just something simple, going and, going and uh, grabbing a pizza, having a drink this evening, and just... Uh, just uh, letting things uh, settle down a little bit. Well, we see your smiling wife, Cecily, and the kids. I'm sure they're happy to have you back home. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for Thank having you. me.